Hi everyone, today um, we have a collab video with Sticky Situations Co. Um, we are both using this kit called Farmhouse. It's super cute, it's from our shop. Um, I picked up the kit in um, regular matte and we're both doing the rewind spread with it this week. I'm doing rewind, she may be doing either or, I'm not sure. But she'll be posting as well, so check out her um, YouTube channel. Um, there'll be a link in the description box below. Um, but yeah, so I laid down like the basic stuff so I wouldn't, my hand wouldn't be like crossing over a um, majority of it. But we did put on the full boxes already. Um, I grabbed some page flags um, from my shop uh, and then I put down the dates already too. So, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I usually like to put down my full boxes first, so let's do that. Um, I usually tend to zigzag, so I start with this one. Let's see. Let's go with this one next. Let's see what they usually do. Okay, perfect. So this one first. So she uses a matte paper similar to the one I have, um, I used to use. Um, so I'm sure since you've been following, if you purchase stickers from different shops, you know that, um, that um, there's like different types of paper. There is a glossy paper, um, premium matte, which is like people, people call like a unicorn paper style. Um, then there is um, regular matte. There's like this matte, it's like called um, spectacle paper. It's pretty bright, except it, the, um, the texture, some people like it, some people don't. When you write on certain markers, it's sort of hard. Um, for me, I prefer it. <laughs> it's nice and bright for me. Um, but everybody's a little different, you know. Um, I'll try to flip through the kit really quick. So we have the full boxes. I'll probably put this in the top corner. We have headers, um, some functional items, um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, go ahead and have, add my headers now. Um, let's see, if I do to do today and then random stuff at the bottom. Yeah, that sounds good. So usually, um, I typically do um, um, sorry I'm trying to think right now okay. um, glitter headers but you know sometimes it's nice to change it up a bit So yes, going back to the talking about the different types of stick paper. So a lot of people had requested for me to change over to removable mat, just because you know when you're planning like functionally, not rewind planning, but just functional planning the week out, it's uh, easier um, sometimes when you are like trying to move things around. Um, so we do have a lot of this type of paper still left. Like I have like two boxes. So if you don't like removable mat or the premium mat and you want just regular mat, it costs the same as doing the removable mat. So um, you can always leave a comment at checkout and I can always switch that over. Um, but yeah, if you are interested, go ahead and try the removable mat. It's pretty nice still. Um, I like it, um, but Everybody's a little different. Okay. So I'm just putting down all the headers first. Um, go. It's been a while since I've used headers rather than glitter headers. So we'll see how it turns out. I may have to move things around. Um, but we will see. Um, off. 
Anyways, so I um, found this shop when I was looking on YouTube. I think other shop owners like watching other shop owners when they talk about their lives and things because it feels like you have a friend um, that really understands like the stress that you're going through. When it comes to like listing items, like stress with like just different things. I don't know how to explain it, but there is stress, different stress. Anyway, sorry about my the, the ink on my hand. That's another thing about being a sticker shop owner. I never thought I would have to um, worry this much or know this much about like printers and stuff. So um, we use two printers. I'm sure most shops won't share this information, but um, I don't really mind anymore since I've been in the business for so long. Um, so we have a Canon Pixima 100. Um, that sometimes I refill, sometimes I just purchase ink, depending how I feel. But that one does cost a lot when it comes to ink because it has eight, eight different ink cartridges. Um, so it does take a lot of time to, not a lot of time, but it costs a lot to print on that one. When we print our glossy on that and all like our little panda characters. And then for a premium mat, it actually prints very well um, on our HP printers. So our HP printers, um, uh, I forget which one I have, but it, um, sorry, I'm thinking, I think I want to do these here. Um, so our HP printers, um, are part of this, um, subscription service called Insta Ink, and we pretty much pay per, um, like print, um, like a monthly subscription, they just sent us ink, which is been pretty awesome. Um, I hate going out to buy ink all the time, so it saves on that step. Okay. Check this. Um, let's go with this color. So everybody uses their sidebar differently. For me, I usually try to use it as things like um, I have to do. That doesn't necessarily fit in the week. Um, let's go ahead and put this right across the oopsies. I love her weekend banner. It's so cute. Um, let's see. I need some habit trackers. Here we go. Oh, perfect, it matches. Do -do -do. And I need some more headers. Um, hmm. So, this might be a little bit of difficulty. So, for headers. Let's see if I do um, the meal sticker, but I put to do on it. I think that should work. Okay, sorry. So uh, let's put that there, and then let's put the to do right on top. Perfect. And then the last. Um, goes up right up here. Cool. All right, so I used up this sheet for the most part. I have some items at the bottom here. So let's see. Um, we'll start with Monday. Okay, so let me look at some functional items. Usually I like to use three things. Oh, that sounds weird. Three, like, um boxes. Um, since for the most time, I usually have three things in each. So she has a bunch of half boxes, tiny boxes here. So I'm going to spread these out. So that way the colors like mix very nicely. Let's put one here. Oops, that's crooked. Thank <laughs> you. 
I know a lot of people, oopsies, I know a lot of people like to go down Monday through, um, just start on the top of head, make their way down, which is great, um, but sometimes I just like putting on all these items first. I sort of already know like how my week went, right, so I know like majority I have like three things that I focus on each day that I want to document on. Um, let's see. And then I have single boxes left. And I'll be done with that sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one here. One up here. And then I'll go ahead and put one right down here. Okay, so that's functional items. Um, let's see. Okay. As you can see, I don't, because I've been doing more white space, I don't really need the sheet anymore since that's why um, in my shop I have you, you have the ability to pick and choose what you need now. Um, Alright, so it's spread out pretty nicely. And then I'll probably be using this one throughout the week as it goes along. So I fill in my week. Um, I do keep my stickers in this little... Um, binder that I got from Muji. Um, we will be listing sticker albums soon. Um, they are the 5x7 so it actually will fit like sheets like this. Um, but this actually has like a bunch of 4x, like these smaller sizes. So we keep like functional items and then like my characters are at the back. So um, our panda characters, that way I know like what I can use. I just restock these with new ones. Um, but yeah, so on Monday um, I had to buy new backing paper from Joann's, so I did go to the store in the morning. So let's see, I have a little panda character for me to run errands with. Yes, I'll we'll go ahead and start with that. So we started with that, and then um, I had to text um, my girl um, for my lash lift. Um, that I'll write that in later for the second one. And then, let's see, the last one will be a therapy sticker. So I go to this person in LA um, for our lash, my eyelash lift. I used to do um, extensions, um, but then I ended up getting like, sort of like um, an allergic reaction to it. Not a bad one, but my eyes, my eyelids got really dry and sensitive. Um, it was just, just me being who I am. My skin sometimes, sometimes is sensitive. Ever since I had a baby, everything sort of goes haywire. Um, but anyways, so. Um, my sister found this person in um, LA that's close to her. Um, she does them for about only $50 and um, they last like six to seven weeks and I don't have to curl my lashes. It's pretty nice. Um, they're not thick or anything. Not that the, they just sort of show up a little bit more <laughs> in like um, in like photos and stuff and yeah I wanted to get that done. So let's see, what does she have here that I can do? Oh, perfect. So in case you didn't know, Target does have this thing called like drive up pickup. Um, so meaning I can sort of just pick whatever I want and then drive up and then they just bring it out to my car. I swear I'm not lazy. I just have a two year old that I can't always go down um, with to get stuff for. So yeah, so that's that. And then I went to go pick up my glasses as well. Um, let me see. I think I have a panda with like cute little glasses, like nerdy glasses that I used to mark when I design, but I don't care. I'm gonna use it. <laughs> um, let's see. Like this, like this. Okay. So that's in. So that's my Monday. I'm gonna fill the writing in later off screen because I don't want to write in your view. On Tuesday, um, did sleep in a bit. I actually didn't mean to sleep in. Um, let's see, I have one that's a panda like napping, but 
don't have it with me right now. So I'll go ahead and put this in. So my daughter had a swim lesson, her first swim lesson on that day. Um, and yeah, um, I we got up at nine, it was at 10, so we had to rush over and it took like 45 minutes to get there because there was so much traffic. If you live in SoCal, you understand that there's always traffic. Um, but yeah, I have stickers that say swim lesson or swim day, but I guess I don't have them with me. Um, I will add that in later. And you, if you're interested in seeing what this red looks like afterwards, um, just check out my Instagram, so it'll be on there. Um, so, yeah, anyways. So next, um, with the swimming, and then I spent most of it that day like designing on the computer. Um, let's see. I can put this big one here. Yeah. Um, planning for, like, kids that were going to go off this upcoming weekend. So we're trying something new in regards to like our um, we, our kit style since I do use a hourly, sorry, I use an hourly and um, I am trying to design the kit so I can use it as well as for my vertical planners and horizontal planners and sort of you can sort of adjust it to use in your like PP weeks or things like that. So, um, yeah. So it's definitely a lot harder when it comes to fulfilling orders and making things a little slower. Um, because like if somebody orders just like one sheet of the thing of the whole set, like I have to go and find where that put that one sheet. Um, but like if it was a whole set, it'd be easier for me. Um, just cause, uh, sorry, thinking through my stickers. Um, if it was just like a whole set that you can grab, um, sort of organize a little bit easier since I do carry premium matte, glossy, and matte. Um, it's just harder when there's just so much going on different papers and it's not just me filling well I film majority of the orders um, my parents do help um, my dad does most of the cutting my mom sort of picks orders a little bit and does the foiling I do the design work and then I double check everyone's order obviously before they come out um, but yeah sometimes it's a lot <laughs> Um, we're going to be scaling back in the shop with how often we're posting, actually, instead of posting, like, our new releases. Like, in the past, we used to do it every week. Um, it's just too hard when you have a toddler at home, honestly. Um, so, you know, things change. Um, and we're probably going to switch to one time a month. I'll try to release, like, four to five kits, so that way, you know... Um, can sort of grab what you need for that month and then sort of go from there. Anyways, um, so on Wednesday, did mostly designing, went to Trader Joe's and got a bunch of groceries for the week. I thought I had a sticker that said Trader Joe's. We had a bunch of, um, like foiled functional items that were, on, that were clear, um, that were just like $2 Tuesdays. I probably, I'm going to bring them back slowly into the shop as like full sheets at like regular price. Um, just cause I realized I pull out them a lot and I need some more, <laughs> but yeah, I don't have any more left. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So I went to Trader Joe's, ordered some stuff on Nespresso on Amazon, and then I went on a ne next flick binge and watched like all these like home Actually, it was in Netflix. It was all YouTube. Um, all of these, like, pantry organization stuff. Um, we actually had gone to Costco in the past and saw that they had, um, um, you know, this brand called OXO. They have really nice um, containers. And the pantry, like, organization people always have 
like something like that usually I notice um, it was always pretty expensive but Costco had a really good deal so on Thursday we actually went to Costco and I picked up the huge box it has like 12 items in it for um, I want to say it was like $60 so it's a really good deal so we went and did that um, I actually ran a bunch of errands at the end of the day. Went to Costco, went to Lowe's, did a bunch of adulting, you know. So I put a head of Costco there. And then um, washed our car too. Yeah, did a bunch of errands. Um, Thursdays actually was my day off. So if you didn't know, I do work um, part time. Um, and then this, um, my shop is my side hustle. So the other times I'm doing the shop when I'm not at work. Um, but I did go on vacation this week. Um, we had a bunch of errands we wanted to run. Um, gosh, at the end of the day. Um, do everything else then later. Anyway, so um, yeah, Thursday I did have off. Um, we do have these day off stickers in the shop. So I'm gonna put one of those down. Right in the middle yes and then friday also had off so yes both of those days were off but it's not really off off when you're a mom <laughs> i don't know it's just ability to do other stuff anyways so on friday I went and got my lashes done i also um so to start off the day i did have our new releases go up um we had a few kits that went up this week, and there are a lot of like winter kits, so I'm gonna try to keep them in the shop as long as I can. Um, but we will see um, how long that will last. I do not know. Hmm. Sort of doesn't really work. Well, let's put it here. Then I can put two stickers right there and there. Yeah. Um. Yes, so we went, before I got my lashes done, we went and got um, ramen at this place called Tsujita. Um, I have a panda sticker that is a bowl of ramen noodle. Um, I need to print that out and add that to my list. I ran out. Anyway, so we did that. It was delicious. Then we went to Madewell to return some outfits, or actually not outfits, but jeans. <laughs> so I got some cute jeans from them, but they did not fit, so I had to return those. And then we ate at Shake Shack at the end of the day, so that was delicious as well. Um, I have a panda character that's sort of like eating fries and a burger, so I'll probably print that one out because I'm out of that as well. And then on Saturday, um, we started processing all the orders from that Friday. Um, and then went out to eat at this place called Kong Hodong. I do not have any of my pandas. I am out of the majority of them. They will be updated and added into the list later. So I'll add that. And then we went to Ia's place called Omomo for Boba. And I used the last of my panda boba sheet as well. So I want to print that out and add it. And then we did some filming um, of a new release videos. I'll put that at the end of the day down here. And then post that on IG. So if you haven't seen our new release video, go ahead and click um, the last previous video. That way you can see our new format. We did change. <laughs> I think it's pretty changed. And you can sort of pick and choose what you like, so it's pretty nice. Anyways, um, and then let's see. Anyways, talking about my whole pantry thing. So I had gone and bought those. OXO boxes and started organizing the pantry and then I found like these Lazy Susans that were really nice and then pretty much I went down a rabbit hole <laughs> uh, but it was nice because I was able to stay on a budget still so anyways on Sunday I went to the temple in the morning with the family and then I got a Thai massage and then um, gave myself a gel manicure and then started packing for the trip I think I have a panda packing sticker Maybe a glitch one. Yes, I have a glitch one here. So we shipped a bunch of orders and then panned up packing for the rest of the night. Okay, perfect. Um, I will add other things in later. Let's see. I have a foiled sleep in sticker. 
So in case you didn't know, um, for the shop, you can actually pick no foil if you'd like, or you can pick foil, whatever you prefer. Um, we do have custom headers for the, um, for those little areas. For the habit trackers, you can also use them anywhere else anyways. Um, I have an AM routine and PM routine. I am out of the PM routine ones here, so I'll add those in later. Um, let's see. I sort of want to add some more, <laughs> just some more foil because I love foil. But I will go through my stash, which I don't have in front of me, and add that in. And then let's see what else I can add from here that I need. I think that is it. Let me fill in everything. I will be right back. Okay, so this is what the kit looks like after um, I added some foil. Um, I'm sure you know this, but I love my foil. Um, but anyways, so... Um, I wrote in all the things that we talked about and sort of added some other stuff. Um, I found the PM routine stickers, so I put that there. I'll mark all those off. Um, let's see. I just added some overlays to some of the full boxes that I found that I had left over from other kits. You can see there a little bit. I added it to the bottom as well. And then since I love my icons, I put the clear icons from my like, other kit in there as well. I think I'll start adding those to the shop since I don't um, include those in the kits anymore so you can pick those up if you want. And then the overlay as well, that will be added to the shop. But yeah, I really like how the kit turned out. Um, I love the full boxes that she made. And let me flip through the kit that I have left. We have Thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel as well as um, Sticky Situations Co.'s channel as well. Um, I will link her below. She has a lovely YouTube channel and always posts such fun content. Um, she also does Clean With Me's, which I feel like motivates me to clean. So it's been good. Um, but yeah, subscribe to my channel, hers as well. And then uh, click the notification bell for the next um, rewind so I'm gonna be doing these once a week so that way um, you can sort of see my thought process throughout the week and um, if you want me to show you how the hourly looks as well I can do that but yeah so the kit looks really nice um, the sale ends this past or I guess today no yesterday um, but if there's anything you want in the shop you can use code um, October 20. I'll leave it down below. If you want 20% off anything in my shop and um, I will announce the next new release um, probably be in like two weeks maybe something like that. Um, we'll see. And then the kits that are in the shop like I was saying you can pick and choose what you want um, but it might not be a thread for that for very long. Maybe just on the re new release weekends, we'll make it so you can pick whatever you want with sheets. And then after that, they'll only be sold in sets. I'll probably switch it to that. It's gonna be easier to store all these different kits. Um, and that way, if you want the full kits, you can pick them up whenever. Um, I'll keep them in the shop for at least a month. And yeah, sorry, I tend to ramble. Okay, so go ahead and click the subscribe button below and the notification bell, and I will see you guys next week or probably in a few days. All right, thank you so much for watching. Bye.